Welcome, everybody. Tonight we have a uh, Shawnee versus RMC Esports. Yep, both teams 5 0 right now. This is week six of the league. Um, this is probably going to be our, our toughest match so far. Statistically, it should be. Um, take a look at the deck lists real quick before we send it back over to slides. The side of hey, Shawnee. Both. What do we got? What do we got? A rogue, warrior, warlock, and druid. They look like aggro decks once again. If I'm yeah, not mistaken. We, yeah, we have this really uh, <laughs> go face, <laughs> uh, absolutely crazy stealth rogue deck that's very popular right now. It's probably one of the more annoying aggro decks to deal with if you are a uh, mid range or control player. But if you're not playing aggro, then uh, what game are you actually playing? Not Hearthstone. No. Uh, that's not meta, bro. Then once again, Shawnee with their weapon warrior, just like the classic cutting class and armor smith battle rage. Um, we've ran this one every single week. I think we've also ran the rogue every week, but uh, the warrior is kind of like the crutch for Shawnee here. It looks like they have switched up the, the druid deck, though. It does look different. We're getting a yeah, uh, a zoo. Is this a zoo lock deck? I can't. It is. I honestly haven't seen this very much, but that's a that's a fierce patty special right there. We got the zoo lock. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm looking at the token druid deck. Looks kind of spicy. This token druid deck. Not we were spectating a game before an in house. And this token druid deck just keeps putting stuff on the board and just never stops. It's not the the gibberling token druid. It's a little bit more more advanced, apparently. You can't clear the board, so you just don't win. And on the side of RMC, we've got a uh, pretty much the same rogue deck. I'm not sure if anything's different here. Um, they are running one of the uh, prize pl uh, plunderers, so trying to get a little bit more. Uh, board clear centric, but not by much. Actually, ooh, what's going on? This is the uh... oh, oh, it's pretty much the same. I'm trying to figure out what what we lost here to put the prize plunder in. So then we got priest. What are we running? What are we running? Looks a little like bit a of res priest. Ooh. Yeah, resurrection priest. That's going to be annoying to go against. I believe that our in-houses for Shawnee's uh, Hearthstone practice was to get kind of familiar with this Priest deck because they were playing the Druid and the Priest, practicing that matchup, which is super yeah. important since not too many people play Priest on ladder. Um, and some of these cards can be kind of unfamiliar. Obviously, They've been around for a while. Uh, palm readings kind of new. Insights sort of new. Wave of apathy is going to be really good against this. Uh... Actually, it probably won't be good because if you rip a wave of apathy and it sets all the minions to one attack, then then they just uh, kill you next turn with uh... <laughs> what is that? Savage roar? Yeah, I think so. Okay. It doesn't appear that they have very many board clears, though, so that'll be interesting to see. All I'm seeing is uh, Soul Mirror. And then we're running a Librem Paladin, which is... It's not Cheese Paladin. They aren't running dragons in this, so it's just straight-up Librem Pally. And this deck can be really obnoxious if they get some good uh, minion draws early. They get those Aldors on board, those one threes that give you the Librum and uh, Librum reduction cost. That could be so good. The Druid deck doesn't look bad either. Yeah, they're running the Gibberling version of it, which <clears throat> it to me it feels a bit more coin flippy since um, sometimes you can run the Gibberlings early and they just get cleared super fast so sometimes you might have invested 
maybe a couple spells into it and made a mistake. The ideal situation is obviously turn two, Jibberling, adorable infestation. Um, but we'll we'll just have to see how these matchups go. Super excited. <laughs> yes, sir. I think this is going to be a actually very close. I'm I'm going to say it's going to be teams. close. Yeah. Now, I don't know how what the value of being undefeated in is right now. I know a lot of the teams or or groups of, uh, slash players in this stage of the tournament are kind of either newer or just starting out. And, you know, we've had a couple games, um, matches, which looked very dominant. So uh, hopefully our opponents have also uh, had at least one or two tough matches, won a, won a close series. Let's commentate something close. Yeah, I'm definitely excited to see the aggro decks. I love to see the aggro decks. Like, it's just a super fast, quick paced game. It makes them think on their feet, you know. Yeah, you know, think on your feet, run at their <laughs> face. It's a, uh, it's a good time. Hearthstone win by classic. turn five, you know, yeah, <laughs> the yeah. classic. We are gonna wait here to queue back up. We're gonna take a quick break, not too long, and uh, when the match starts, we'll be back.
So Shawnee banned their paladin and RMC banned our warrior. It's the first uh first team wise enough to get rid of our incredibly strong warrior deck. Oh okay, I don't like this matchup. I don't like this matchup. It's a druid versus a rogue. A druid's just gonna keep putting one attack minions on the board. So it's going to be like one of the nice things about this rogue deck is that we can just keep slamming these three ones. But the druid's going to put up a lot of one attack, two attack minions on the board and just be able to trade, trade, trade. I'm not sure Shana's if they have any to way go. to get taunt though. Shiny's going to have to go all face. They're going to make this a quick one if they, if they want you know better chances. Yeah, I think Shawnee can win this. They just need to get... Like, their curve has to be really good here. Yeah. What's so dangerous about the, this Druid deck is they can just Solar Eclipse and then, uh... So, what is it? Savage Roar. And that's all they need. And then that their whole board's just plus, plus four attack. I'm wondering if they're gonna drop a Worgen or just... Hero power? I think if they don't play a minion, they're gonna war again. Their druid deck on the side of RMC does not run swipes. So, and I don't believe they have very many ways to get taunts. It's, it's pretty much through nature studies and looking for that taunt, uh, the either give 2-2 two, two plus taunt, or maybe... I don't know. Oh my god. Okay, they went crazy. So we just dropped a gibberling into coin nature studies, and we're just tree enforcements, gibberling, lightning bloom. We got another one. This is one of the... <laughs> <laughs> this is Hearthstone for you. Classic this... Hearthstone. <laughs> <laughs> this is the scenario I, I was talking about where that was a turn one perfect hand. Nate is shaking his head. Krusty Woodpecker's shaking his head. Patrick's got his hands on his face. It's all over, folks. Like, wrap it up. It's over. <laughs> Bottom right. Uh... Uh, they might have a chance. I mean, uh, what what board clears do we have? None. Yeah. None okay. in hand. <laughs> you know what? I still believe. I still oh! believe. No, oh, there's the pen thing. If they <laughs> had one health or any spells, it would be awesome. But it's doomed. It's doomed. Oh, God. It's not looking that bad. Just yet. I mean, but that's... That's how you play Druid in Hearthstone. If you can't clear my board, you lose. Yeah, well, we and used to have a fancy little card that summoned a 1-5 with taunt for every single minion on the board. Yeah, it's just, with these druid decks, you usually don't see it, you know, turn one, can't clear my board, you lose, but in some instances, you get a good RNG rolling, and that's what we're seeing right now. Alright, baby, we're stabilizing. We lost our pen flinger. We lost our 1-mana 3-1 with stealth. But it does matter, because the Jubilings have been dealt with. Yeah, Shawnee's, Shawnee's <laughs> Until already they have you know. more one ones. <laughs> yep. Oh God! Give him a swipe. Give him a moon. It is that, that starfall. Give him anything. It's turn four, and Shawnee's at thirteen L. RMC is still at thirty with a a nice board for Druid. All right, all right, we're alive. They only have 10 damage. We're alive by three. 
not if they have a savage roar or not. They have a lot of ways to kill us, but obviously they will not have any of those things in hand because Shawnee are simply better players. So we can eliminate three damage from board, so many options. which means we're going to take, we're going to go down to 12 and then we'll have six left on board. So they need six damage, which with a single savage roar, that, I mean, that's going to do it. But obviously they won't have it. I mean, if they have perfect RNG get into this game, which they've already had so far, they're going to have it. No Savage Roar. Uh, <laughs> no Twin Spell. What is that card called? <laughs> well, it's either a 50-50 they have it or they don't. Uh, wait, do they actually run? Um... Oh, wow. Uh, RMC doesn't run the... Uh... God, what is that card called? Is it like the, the... I think I know what you're talking about. It's the twin spell. Wait, Shawnee doesn't... Wait, am I... I think I'm going crazy. Wait, that card's not good. <laughs> I'm surprised oh, they have God. They just keep dropping more minions. Yeah, if RMC... Uh, I don't think this is looking too good for Shawnee here. I'm not going to count just out no. yet. You know? No, yeah, we, we're... we're I think we win this. I, I... Wait, yeah. we we're we're coming back from a um, tough spot. We got a worgen and a spectral delinquent in hand. We got five mana and a dream. Five HP. We <laughs> uh, die. You never know. He could swing into his own minions. No, I mean, his own yep. face. You never You're know. You're right. You're right. <laughs> they draw a bug card, play it. It. They concede. Wait. What? Epic. I'm confused. Did, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I guess... So back to us. I'm not for sure just what happened. It looks like they conceded, but Sometimes. they were winning. No, 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 no. no. Oh, the deck wasn't submitted correct. Liars. So, <laughs> is that a is that the DQ then? Is that not a DQ? I'm pretty sure. I have no clue. These guys, well, man. Call it, listen, it's just a a simple mistake. It. I don't. Uh, I don't know. I, that sounds I like a DQ playing a deck you didn't submit. If it was me, I take the I take the win. Just just for the sheer matter of fact, we were gonna win the game anyways. Shawnee yeah. had it in the bag. Uh, we had that Worgen in hand. Uh, pretty much was sealing well, the deal mana. there. Five mana. about the five mana. Think about yeah. it. Even when even when the odds are against them, and you know the other team has perfect RNG. Shawnee State still always finds a way to win. You know, finding those clutch wins. That's the Bears' way. Obviously, spirit. <laughs> obviously, we're not even phased by that game because it wasn't close at all. I mean, I wasn't worried at all. I was like, I told you five, five mana. Did you guys not hear five mana? I know it was a close. It was hard fought and close. So obviously GG's for that one. Um, yeah, yeah. What up? What up? <laughs> um, I was okay, so on their deck list. Even, Tony, let's let's figure out what, what went wrong here. Oh, let me see. They had gibberling. What card did they play that they did not have? Yeah, this this doesn't look like the same deck that they were playing. Oh, uh... well, I'm trying to figure out. How... Oh, was it? No, no. Because I didn't see any oh, Dreamlight Guardians. I uh, know we saw the Dreamlight Guardians. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised they didn't play Power of the Wild. What, what if it was <laughs> not know. one of the decks that they were... <laughs> what if it was one of the decks they weren't using? <laughs> I mean, I have no clue. Uh, do we have the league name real quick? It's uh, NACE. Mm. I can just look up the rules to see if we take that point or not. I don't know. Uh, they forfeit the match. Yeah. That game. Okay. I think if you concede in a non band match... You take the game by default. Is that not right? I feel like that's right. Uh, 
I have no clue. Well, it's all up to the admins, whatever. I don't even play it. Hearthstone, dude. I play. Uh, um... Oh, they. Oh, they. Oh, that's bees, right. The bees, they had yeah. the bees. The bees. The bees. Oh, God. No. Well, cheating. Johnny's steamrolling <laughs> with the aggro next, bro. You can't beat them. They're rushing to the next expansion pretty quickly. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> You're not allowed to use that move. It's banned. Okay. So, you know, Shawnee, top of their game right now, feeling good. Um, coasting off the inertia of a easy close. No, 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 no. It was, it was close. 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 I don't know. Seeing RMC's first deck, I'm curious to see if their priest deck has a Leroy in it. I will be very surprised not to see one. You know what? I believe this is Hearthstone's twisted fate that they have. They drew the perfect hand, drew in the bees. They probably drew a Savage Roar, but decided to put it back in the deck and drew a different card. Um, but then Shawnee in the end, we just have divine justice raining down on us, <laughs> preventing the Gibberlings from winning. <laughs> See. We we had swipes in our hand, but we just didn't play them. You know, we could have yes. won any any moment we wanted. But well, we're playing paladin, but we have the druid skin on, which is why we have the holy light protecting our decks from losing. Yes. I think we also had a twisted nether in our deck. Maybe I thought that was oh. somewhere. Oh, I, we couldn't play it because obviously it wouldn't be very fair to the other team. <laughs> but that definitely an interesting first match. You know, it'd be really embarrassing if they uh. Still won, anyways. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, how do they fix this? Uh, do they just bring the deck? Okay, we're gonna do a quick relaunch. Get so, our get our proper decks. Our proper decks. This time. I mean, proper at least Shawnee's already cleared their uh, rogue deck, though. They all they have left is uh, Warlock and Druid. They left to play. Correct. I want, yeah, I wonder if the, I mean, the bands are obviously staying the same, but do you think they're going to play the Druid deck again? Is it, I is it too cursed? <laughs> it's it's like, a bit cursed right now. I feel like this is a mistake you only make once a season, if that. Not but... true. Sometimes <laughs> Not you true. just, oh man, you just go to school with your pants off. I've done it like three times. Oh yeah, when you're, when you're having a dream about going to class. Yeah, and you're actually oh. in class, yeah. Dream. dream. <laughs> Wasn't a dream. <laughs> you know, it's only like the third time it's happened. I'll learn eventually, right? I won't. But RMC has to be mad about this one, though. RMC is beating themselves up right now. They're definitely... I hope they're not watching the stream right now because that would be really sad. <laughs> no, like, they're they're, 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 they're a good college, you know what? They have respectable watch. teams, you know? We'll give them that, you know? All Everyone right. makes mistakes sometimes. Bet and sometimes it costs you the game. Bunch of... Little bit sus, you know, Tony? A little, <laughs> yes. bit, uh, little bit sus. That's what I'm saying. We need to watch out for the Leroy card in the Priest deck. I'll be shocked not to see it at this point. I know. Let's just run a wild tournament. But I, I think here we go. We're jumping back, back into in. it. We're Pay going attention. back in. Pay attention to the cards this time. Yeah, they're not playing the Druid. <laughs> like, the Druid's curse. <laughs> Let's not deal with it. We got Nizoth versus Maeve Shadow Step. <clears throat> now I don't know what happened to Hearthstone. It took like a, a about a year break. Um I came back. Maeve was like the last hero that came out, and then now there are like 15 heroes per character per class. I don't know where they all came from. I believe I believe in this matchup, I want to say Rogue is favored. Rogue? Sure. Um maybe. I don't I'm really on. see Zulok. I don't I don't think Zulok's very good, but that definitely won't stop our boy Fierce Patty from playing it every single season. Well, so I'm just <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm going by win rates. Rogue's win rate right now is 51% at least, and then Warlock's is uh, 48. So. Oh, well, what's the matchup? Are you on heart HS replay? I'm on HS replay, yeah, but I can't see the matchups. Four control replay? All right. I think we're dropping the Voidwalker. If they play Worgen, we drop the Voidwalker. If they drop the Mistress... Oh my god, nothing. Double flame imp. Double flame imp. Let's do it, Double baby. It. Let's do it. Let's go aggro. Let's I, go. They're, they're thinking about it right now, too. Because <laughs> <laughs> if they double flame it, Rogue literally can't do anything. Oh no! Oh. Cowards! <laughs> <laughs> These freaking guys, man. Look at them laughing, knowing that they already lost because they didn't play the double flame imp turn one. <laughs> the greatest move in all Hearthstone history. Second only to six dripper links on board turn one. <laughs> or double moonfire turn one. That's always a great play. Oh, double moonfire in my Malagos deck turn one. They never see it coming. Two free damage, zero man. <clears throat> you know, this is a little bit off topic, but uh, there seems to be a rope. Approaching the enemy turn button. Yeah, I don't. I've, seen, I've actually seen this. I've seen this during play. You know, they get into their opponent's head by just letting it rope every turn, and you I get know, slightly annoyed. I know. Well, sometimes there's a real decision to be made, but I'm, I'm not really sure what what guy. Oh, go face the button after the rope. They're upset. RMC definitely seems a little bit shook about, you know, last game. I think they're still in their heads a little bit. Yeah. Oh my god. We just win. We actually just win. You can see. Yeah. I think it's a... Shawnee. You go ahead. My bad. Oh. oh, I'm just, you know, I'm just thinking about how, how the turntables have tied it. Now that we have a stupid board early and uh yeah. they're stuck hero powering i believe it's called having your rake and eating it too i have never heard that expression that must be a ohio expression <laughs> <laughs> uh, well if we have an interview after the game we'll ask uh what's we'll the, we'll the guys okay the, yeah, yeah tr trying to ratio me about your weird ohio insane <laughs> Oh, this is so sad. We're just... This is literally where we were last time. Pen flinger. Prepping our pen flinger. Just desperately trying to clear the opponent's board. This is a real shame. And they're already roping again. But I think they, they know what they're doing this round. No, no, no rope. No rope. I think... Do, do we coin out our mistress? We do. Oh my goodness. Wait, we have two Hand of Gul'dans. This is so... Our curve? Insane. Alright. If oh, I have a Shawnee have right a now. Decent draw? Oh Not my bad god. early on. Oh my god. We definitely need those Soul Fragments in our deck. We're sitting at 19 health. <laughs> Tony, uh, are... Are we gaming? We are gaming. I don't Shawnee think... is definitely gaming right now. It's looking pretty bad for... RMC currently. They're going face. Interesting play. I would have traded with the 5 3 there. I think you survived oh. just a little bit longer, at least. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're just going to slam your head into the 5 3 and die. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just glad I don't have to make those decisions. That's why I play Mage. Oh, I like this. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Oh my freaking gosh. No, we're afraid of nitro bite poison slamming into our face. So I think we set up a lethal though. Because wicked oh. worships all face. Lethal next turn. Rogue has nothing. Rogue oh. can't kill us in this position, so I'm trying yeah, to I think if they play Voidwalker, it's just, this the safe uh the safe option here. I'm pretty sure. Oh, and they got rid of it, never mind. Oh. Well, you know what they say in Hearthstone. The face is the place. It's, in fact, the most important place. That's true, but... I was thinking Voidwalker there, so then they at least had to swing their weapon at the 1-3. The or or well, use their stealth. Then... Well, we're not worried about our health bar going to zero, right? 
because no. we're worried about taking their health bar to zero. I don't think Shawnee's health bar has hit zero yet this season. Our our life doesn't matter because I mean we're warlock. We we want it. We want the, we like the the soul siphoning, life tapping. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when it comes to Shawnee, we could be on 5 health, the opponent be on 30, and we still win the match somehow. That's that what I was thinking. 31 health and win the match. Okay. This time it was an actual concede, I believe. That was the correct deck. Bottom bottom right. It's a, it's a coin flip. Aggro-y. Meta. We're just... Um, you know, after that first game, it was rough, but uh, I did... Zero loss of composure from Shawnee. I think RMC is still just a little bit in their head from the first mistake. They are definitely not playing to like, the, at least I think they could play a little bit better than what they were. Well, the thing about like aggro v aggro is sometimes just it depends on whose curve is better. And, and there, Shawnee started with like all of our one drops. Yeah. And. Rogue doesn't really have that many clears for two health, three health minions. Uh, it's mostly just the clear for the one health, and then they drop a bunch of like two ones and three ones on the board. So Warlock definitely favored there, especially with that hand. We're gonna um, go back into it. Looks like this will be a fun though. matchup, though. I want to see the Druid deck. It'll be a fun matchup. We have Druid versus Priest. That's definitely going to be a very interesting one. So, all right. Let's take bets. Are we making it to 10 mana? Oh. Uh, well, with this Druid deck, no, you don't, ha you don't have to. And the good thing about what the... I guess at least this matchup, at least, is that RMC would have to... have to draw one of their taunt cards, like a Cartet Defender. I mean, that's a, it's pretty hard to get around sometimes, especially with the Reborn. But if Shawnee can, you know, kill them turn 5 before they get 6 mana... I don't think we have a problem. Um, I I'm I'm gonna say. I I want to say that they're making it to ten mana. This to me, this seems like the kind of matchup where the game is gonna end in one turn, either for the priest clearing the last big board from the druid or the druid. Having a board, ripping, double savage roar, and just one shotting them. Now I want to talk about the mulligan from from Shawnee. It's it's really interesting. <clears throat> I think they're gonna try and get this ogre mancer out as fast as they possibly can. I. Oh my god, they're going to do turn one. Yeah, they're going to do a turn one. <laughs> they, they are definitely <laughs> thinking about doing a turn one Ogre Mancer. There's like I literally see, no I drawback. See, <laughs> I see Krusty smiling. <laughs> oh, no. This is a troll. Oh. Such a troll play. They're, they're laughing. They, I know they're... they're. Oh my goodness. They're screaming at their monitors at this point. They just want to leave. <laughs> Honestly, I, just, I would just turn off my computer at this point there's no bottom right rmc is getting absolutely memed on <laughs> this is just horrible they can't play any early spells i don't think they're running any shadow word pains are they oh uh, i know there is uh, no, they no have a shadow, shadow word, word death pain. yeah no shadow word pain how they're gonna kill this let's think about it uh the answer is they can't Oh, wait. They could play a palm reading into Shadow Word Pain and kill it. Or they get to turn five and convincing Infiltrator. No freaking way. We're arboring up. <laughs> oh, that's, that, that's not, that, that might not be a good decision, though. Uh, you know, they do have the, the shot. What is it? The, the Shadow Word Death. So they could they can get rid of that. I don't it's only think two mana. I don't think Shawnee is concerned about anything but memeing. And from the way that this turn is looking, I'm not sure if they have the Shadow Word Death in hand. If they do not, Shawnee has 19 damage on board next turn. 
they Savage Roar. And that's 19 damage. And it doesn't look like they have it, but they're trying to draw for something. Oh, no, 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 no. Is that lethal? That Did they just kill themselves? Uh, 19 plus 2, that's 4. 4 more. That's, yeah, that's 20, that's 23. If I'm not saying, how much health do they have? I can't see the cards Wait, are in the way. 6, 12, 19. I think that that's 23. 23. Yeah, 23. How much health does the priest have? There's I a big see. card cards blocking cards. it. I think they're at 24 <laughs> right now. 23. So if they play another spell this turn, they're just dead to Savage Roar. They know they're dead to Savage Roar. So if they do play a spell here, it would be incredible. They are at 24. Oh. Oh. Okay. okay, they survive for one more turn. I think we rip overgrowth here. Or do they want to get the value from the Savage Roar while they can? I say just hero power, then guess the weight, and just hang out and just go all face. Well, here's the and thing. I you could overgrowth now and then guess the weight and possibly get double Savage Roar. True. Wait, actually, is that enough mana? I mean, they could Savage Roar this turn if they no, really wanted have to, you know. Mana for that be aggro but if i was them i would just i would just guess the weight hero power mm. and then and go all face i got a pitch for you what if we just killed them right yes. now i mean we could have did that before the the wave of apathy but we can no longer do that uh, i don't know rmc might not think we have the savage roar though this could this could work in their favor rmc is not looking good right now. It's it's definitely very grim. Uh, a Holy Nova could help. A Convincing Infiltrator, it's too late for that. A Car Hut, they can't even get one out right now. Oh, um, bre double breath of the inf... Wait, no, they still can't do that. Yeah, they're just dead here. Well, wait, wait, wait. What do we got? Okay. <laughs> We're, I think our board is increasing in power. I have to recalculate these totals. Ooh, I like that play a lot. Yeah, that's what I was... I was going to say Holy Nova pretty much clears all of our small creeps, but... Yes, but if they, uh... They're running on options. It's looking like they're just fueled on top decks right now on the side of RMC. I'm going to say more. Uh, the next spell costs more. <laughs> I'm guessing less. You know what? I'll take the less because you took the more. Oh, boom. Doesn't yeah, help us, but I was right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it does look like Shawnee. If they want a Savage Roar here, uh, that's still 19 damage if they wanted to push. But I, I think the safe one here is just Dreamway Guardian and then no face. Yep, definitely Dreamway. We have the runic carvings in hand to like burst down any taunts that drop. Um, we got our value out of our arbor up and definitely got our value out of this Ogre Mancer turn one. It's still alive. I mean, I think RMC definitely, they, they're still alive for now. But like, as this matchup goes on, you know, they get their, their taunts, their reborns. It's going to be harder for Shawnee to clear those. Now what could, like... what do we have the mana for? We have nine mana next turn. Drop the lunar eclipse into runic carvings. And that's I'm just curious okay. what RMC does. I don't think taunts are gonna help them. I don't think much is gonna help them here unless they have double holy yeah. nova think... off the top. Let's go. I definitely think the Savage Roar. We the got last turn was the way to go. Oh, oh, dude. Double runic carvings? Do it. Do it. Do it. Solar Eclipse. Actually, they're saving the Solar Eclipse for the Savage Roar, which is much smarter. But That's true. It would be funny to see them fill their board up with a bunch of 2-2s. Two what they really want is the Soul of the Forest, man. Where is Where are our tree friends? I definitely think the Ogre Mancer turn one, especially with uh, its ability against a, a priest that, like, you know, commonly plays spells. I think that was big brain. 
I just can't believe yeah. it's still alive. Yeah, I would also love to be able to gain five mana at the start of the game. Hearthstone is a strange game for sure. Oh, what are they doing here? Ooh. S turn seven? What's their turn seven play? Uh, just concede. Oh, Soul Mirror stops this completely, actually. That is true. Oh. <laughs> of course, of course. Sam, you don't want to say you jinxed it, but... Oh, well, no, 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 it's Hearthstone. They, they would have had it no matter what. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But um, that Soul Mirror is such a huge ability. We need to draw into some minions. All right, we're praying. Oh. We're praying. Solar Eclipse. Do the Solar Eclipse first. Oh, my God, guys. Uh, I guess Endorable Infestation. I don't think I would do much for that. Actually, Bite. The Bite. Not Okay, think about it. We Solar Eclipse into the Bite. That's That pushes them to 8 health. <laughs> Actually, wait, wait, wait. The Savage War, though? The Savage War, too. That, wait, wait. That pushes them to 6 health. Yeah, I think they take the Bite and then the Hero Power and just go face. I don't know if they play the Bite this turn because they might want it for the Car Hut. I mean, that's fair, but I, w I would Solar Eclipse into the Double Bite, you know, and then Savage Roar. And if we had... Okay. Double Solar Eclipse. Quadruple Double. Bite. Wait, how does Solar Eclipse Solar Eclipse work? Does it does not. Four? I've tried it. It doesn't uh, double it. It does not. That's a tragedy. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I've tried it before. That's how I've died. There it is the car hut. They're gonna heal up to 23 when this once this guy dies. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. <clears throat> okay. We overgrowth for the card draw, and then we lunar eclipse. The car hut, do we? What are we even looking for? Oof. Not the greatest draw. This is kind of unfortunate. I don't think that, um. I don't like that play. I would have just used Lunar Eclipse, or I'm sorry, Bite and then Lunar Eclipse to the car hut. But also, if they had cleared that board, then it would have priced the opportunity to do some resurrection right. shenanigans. I think what Shawnee is going to try to do is, you know, next next turn they sell their Eclipse into the Savage Roar. Hmm. Because then that's six. Yeah, they're definitely setting it up right now. But yeah, that's 36 damage on board. Yeah, 36 damage on board. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Uh, a second? Oh, no. How did they get that second for me? What was that generated off no, of? No. One mana, oh. restore three health, and discover a spell. That is tragic. That I is high rolly. All right, all right. All right, we're getting hit with the Hearthstone. This is a, an interesting series. I'd say it's the most interesting series so far. Definitely. <laughs> First game was a nail biter. The second no. one was as well. The third one, I'm on my tippy toes right now. We got a little bit of cart. Oh, there we go. Oh, rip the nature, nature studies. studies. Solar eclipse. The nature studies. Oh, we Guess got oh, another way. bite. Another we bite. Got... No, we are not taking the other bite. <laughs> no, why not? That's big brain. Think about it. We could have solar eclipse. We and need like... cards, and we're only having cards. Yes, but the that bite dude. help us. The bite. <laughs> Guess less. Guess less. I think it's going to be more. Why, you think it's the other runic carvings? Yeah. No way. Glowfly Swarm. Oh, no, they guess oh, the guess wait. wait. It's fine. It's fine. We can take this turn off. It's like it's like paid leave. We're taking this turn off to just draw some cards. We're just relaxing. Less. So less of the time. I love this card. This is like one of the most fun cards. Okay, we bite. Lunar Eclipse. Double Lunar Eclipse. Uh, okay, they're, they're armor upping and uh, aeroponics. I like that more. Never mind. Yeah. This is why they're better than me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, That's but this fair. is scary because they, they still have Plague of Death here. Okay, it's not scary anymore. We okay. 
Putting the rune carvings and the force of nature in the hand makes it way less scary. We are, however, three cards left in our deck. <laughs> well, we either win here or we don't. They, uh, yeah, that's that's a great point. Thank you. <laughs> we still do have the solar eclipse into the savage roar, and we still do have a bite as well. Nate or Krusty was telling me that this deck was much harder than the gibberling deck because it requires a lot of patience and being able to identify when it's worth using even parts of your combo and priest isn't really presenting threats which is exactly what the like class does but we are pretty much out of threats with three cards left i don't believe we run a yasera or anything like that priest also does have another card touch okay or they just do han Okay. Or Gahoon, whatever you want to pronounce it. Oh, that was so per. That was probably the best one we could have gotten. So. Uh, I still think. They, we have uh, Lunar Eclipse and the Solar Flare and the Savage Roar. Yeah. They still have enough mana for a bite. I but, don't believe they do. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Double? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Double? That's, that's, that makes sense. Oh, here's the play we've been waiting for the, because the then entire we, game. Then we bite, and then we kill yes, the 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah. Oh my god. We did it! <laughs> yeah, I think uh, that's perfect lethal, I believe. No, actually. Wait, what? No, that's, that's a little bit more than lethal. Yeah, that's definitely much more than perfect. I passed hey, you know what? Thomas. From... I know, I was there. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, hey. definitely a close game, but we never doubted Shawnee, <laughs> not even for a second. Epic, very epic. No, the that's first a, game kind of had us sweating a little, there. A little bit. Oh, that's another 3-0, and though, so it looks like the yeah. Mr. Dude Mancer survives for another day. Never, yeah, not going to fire the Mr. Dude Man search, uh, sir, our coach. Uh, he's not going to the bench yet. Uh, it was a good series. Unfortunately, obviously, um, in all seriousness, RMC did have that kind of goof up at the starts, uh, giving us the wrong deck lists or uploading the wrong deck list to the uh, tournament site, which sucks, but it happens. Uh, the last two games, well, the Rogue into, into Warlock was not that close. But, the last um, game was a nail-biter, though. It, was, it, was, it came down to card draw at the end. Yeah, if they had plague there, um, or more board clear for that, I th I think Shawnee had a very good chance of losing that game. They did have a couple more things to keep them going at the end, but um, in all, good series. I, th I doubt I that's probably my favorite series so far. I mean, if there's a will or a way to find lethal, Shawnee Shawnee finds it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I right. like You can go. No, no, no. I insist. Yeah, you know, you know, all right, all right. We'll be back we'll, we'll, after the break. We're gonna, you know, have an interview with the the team. All right, people, we got Krusty Woodpecker, <laughs> Fierce Fatty, and just Alex, as long as Coach Mr. Dude Man Service 
sneak lamp and lag on the mics. Guys, that first game, we're not even going to talk about it. We're not even going to talk about it. You guys it. had that one in the bag from turn one. It was hard yeah. fought, close, a good uh, good rogue matchup in my opinion. And uh, we're going to skip that. I, game two was not very interesting either. No. Game two is Zoom. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, that's, they just kind of do zoo things. The only thing to note about that is Patrick was happy as a clam because yeah, he loves zoo more than anything. <laughs> I was sad not to see the double flame imp turn one. What was about that? You know, you could have did it. Well, it I mean, was curved. Yeah, we wanted the same yeah. coin for uh, the four five. So four that's, five fair. Five, so. that's fair. Yeah, yeah, they did have hand and uh, hand of gold on. So getting that that four four drop out and improving the curve. So, matchup wise, Rogue into Druid, that specific dribbling Druid. How do, how do you feel? That matchup is a hard lose for the Rogue, right? Uh, yeah. Like, I think we have maybe a 30% win rate against that deck. Um, even more so with the cards that they were playing in there that they weren't supposed to be playing. So, which is why when we saw Bees and um, uh, remind me of the other one, Michael, that they. Tree and forest, the one that buffed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so with bees and dreamway guardians, those are the you know kind of blew us out of the water a little bit, so to speak. So like them having those cards and us not really knowing they were going to have those cards, kind of threw us for a loop. Thank, thankfully, you know, um, Michael spoke up. He has the deck list open on his computer while we play, so uh, we were able to catch that and we messaged him about it. And they were good sports about it too. They were like, "Yeah, that's our bad. Like we'll concede." Um, but we feel really bad for something like that to happen because, like, you know, rules are reversed and we're on that end. I'm going to be super tilted the rest of the match no matter what's going on. So it, I feel really sorry for them. I would hate to be in that position. Yep. Yeah, it, it, we were confused at first, and then obviously we figured out what had happened on the behind the scenes. So mm -hmm. um, for anyone who's watching... Double check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, wait, wait a I was like, is that for nature studies? Wait a second. That's not for nature studies. Now, let me ask Fierce Patty, the Zoolock Supreme Master of the Universe. <laughs> how do you feel about the matchup of Zoo against Rogue? I was just happy that it was Zoo, and we had a lot of draw, and we just kept drawing, and we kept playing minions, and then it was Zoo, so they died, because Zoo is the best deck ever. Tony, any comments about that sentiment, Zoo is the best deck I think, ever? I think Zoo is the wor worst deck every expansion, but <laughs> I, if there's a will, there's a just, way. You're wrong. You're just Mr. wrong. Tempo Mage player. Yes. Yeah. One mana, mana worm. Good old Feels, days. Yeah, the good old days. <laughs> <laughs> So the last match, boys, was that was interesting. Um, the double soul mirror. What was? Oh, what was your goodness. thoughts of the double soul mirror? So if you watch the last game, like the first four, I think it's four turns, we're all smiles, super happy because everything's going good, and then they play, you know, Holy Nova. And then, you know, we're a little bit worried. But then we feel the board again, board again and then they play another Holy Nova. And <laughs> then we're a little less happy because they top decked it. And then they play a Soul Mirror. And then they play another Soul Mirror. That's all in the top 15 cards of their deck. They typically only have, you know, four or five clears. And it's going to be spread out throughout the whole thing. So we were super pissed off and a little bit scared, to be honest, about how it was going to go. But luckily, we were able to create a board and kind of stabilize after that. Because we were... Sweating a little bit, to say the least. Yeah, we were talking about you had two solar eclipse in hand. You cannot double solar eclipse for four times, right? I'm pretty sure you can't, correct? No. Okay, you that's cannot. what I thought. That's what I thought. So we Yeah, we were watching. They had the um double holy nova into the double soul mirror. Um if if it had gotten to that point where they did wind up having that clear towards the end. Mm -hmm. Um and got rid of your uh, tree enforcements was it? Um, um it was the arbor ups. Yeah, the it, was, arbor it was trans from the arbor ups. Yeah, 
for the treants, if those guys got cleared, you had another totem and the force of nature. What mm. do you think you guys would have won the game if that board had gotten cleared by, let's say, Plague of Death? Well, we also had a Glowfly Swarm yeah, we and a Soul of the Forest. Swarm. So yeah. we had a full board of two twos with Death Rattle summoning two twos. So it yeah. came to that. Also in, in with, uh, okay, so mm. it, it was getting kind of kind of scary towards the end, but you know, you guys clutched it out. Um, obviously, first game being unfortunate, but the second game looking like an easy sweep off of that, and then the third game kind of the momentum slowed down, but. Still, overall, another three zero for Shawnee oh, yes. State. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and how many more matches do you guys have? Um, I can pull it up really quick and check for you. Actually, um, I believe we only have one more group stage match. Don't quote me on that yet. Um, we have today, next Tuesday, and yeah, that's it. Okay. So great. we got one more group stage and then playoffs after that. So, is this also going to be the other six zero seven zero team? No, it's not. So right now they have us split up into one, two, three, four, five, six groups, and there are six teams that are undefeated, and two of them were on our bracket. So we it just wound up that we matched up against the other team that was undefeated today okay. in our bracket. So yeah. Destroy right. competition. No mercy. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up. Uh, Mr. Dude Man, sir, do you have any uh, great wise wisdom? Uh, well, step two is double bloom ogre mancer and then profit. I like it. Step two, go straight there every time. I think uh, unless Lag well, has any fine. any other comments, questions, I think we can I go think ahead Michael and wrap just up. summed it up. Yeah, yeah step I, two. Step, step two. two. <laughs> go Bears. Go Bears. Go Bears. small school is the thing that drew me to it. Shawnee is nationally ranked in the Princeton list for game design. A lot of the professors own their own businesses. That kind of prompted me to start my own business. I started a game studio. I don't think that would have been possible if the school were bigger. And Shawnee put that all together for me. I'm Dalton, and I invite you to discover Shawnee State University for yourself. Please visit discover.shawnee.edu.
Thank you. 